What I'm about to tell you is something you would never have heard leave my lips before. And that is, settle down on those goals. So I'm a huge advocate for stretching yourself, pushing yourself outside your comfort zone so that you can grow. All over my house, there are magnets and a big sign on my wall in the office that say whatever you're thinking, think bigger. And when you set those big goals, it's important to set those baby steps. But sometimes when we set ourselves a bunch of massive goals, we're actually hindering our growth instead of pushing us towards it. Here's what I mean. Recently, I have taken on my first kickboxing fight which is physically and mentally stretching me. I have committed to a home that is the biggest house I've ever lived in and it costs the most amount of money that I've ever spent on a home as well. Now those two things have been a big stretch for me and when we do major stretches outside our comfort zone we tend to get the speed wobbles a little bit. So when you set too many goals it can come become so overwhelming that you actually freak out and jump back into that comfort zone instead of moving towards the goal. So for example, with my kickboxing comes healthy eating. I've got to do the healthy eating, I've got to do the physical stuff, I've got to do the mental stuff, I've got to watch fights. And then besides that, there's all the other day-to-day -day stuff that you have going on as well. So what happens when we set those big goals is if we try and take on too many other things, we'll freak out and run. Kind of like when you set yourself an extremely tight diet. Then you might have those days where you're like, wow, this is too intense. I'm just gonna shove a pizza in my face. This goes the same with setting the big goals. Set yourself those big goals, take the baby steps, but here's the key. You need to grow into your growth. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable, but don't set more than two or three major goals for you in one time. Here's another way to put it. Three years ago, I lost 15 kilos. I went out and bought myself an entire new wardrobe. That entire new wardrobe, I thought, looked fantastic because it was a couple of sizes bigger than anything I'd worn before. But a good, honest friend of mine kept saying, your clothes are too baggy. But I'd look in the mirror and I'd think, they look fine. Because in my head, I knew I'd lost weight, but my brain was still in chubby mode, while my body was way slimmer than what my brain was telling me when I looked in the mirror. It wasn't until two months later that I realized that these clothes were too baggy on me. They looked ridiculous. It took two months for my mind to catch up with what my body was doing. Now the same thing's happening at kickboxing. In my mind, I've got this. I'm invincible, no one can break me. But my body tells me another thing. If I take a hit, if I have a tough day at training, when I do my double days at training, my brain is going, you can do it, you can do it, lift your arms, kick those legs, but my body doesn't always follow. So you've got to give yourself a pat on the back, give yourself a little bit of love, and you've got to let yourself grow into your growth. And that way, you're not going to be scared of creating these big massive goals. You're going to get buzz and adrenaline and have so much fun pushing yourself to that next level. Now another area where a lot of us like to push ourselves to a new level is in business. If you're looking to maybe create an online program, define a really good offer for you to put out there that's leveraged, or maybe you want to get that celebrity-like status and create a big following online of people who are hungry to work with you. If that sounds like you, then head on over to Boom Formula 2 Dot com and go and check out my online program where I will work with you through step by step how to get yourself out there online, create that irresistible offer and create that lifestyle that gives you the freedom to do the things you love. I'll see you over there. Boom!